greetings from uh, Istanbul airport and uh, just walked in through the international uh, area and there is a preliminary scanning section that they have here and uh, I've never seen that before you get your suitcases and your baggage uh, luggage and backpacks and whatever else you have scanned so that's the first time that I've seen that because you've got to go through security again so that's a novel experience there uh, to get your uh, stuff scanned in so just looking for my uh, flight on the uh, check-in uh, information I am flying TK 1983 Turkish Airlines I've got to go to check-in H and uh, look at the uh, number of uh, Turkish Airlines desks that they have They're pretty much uh, Turkish Airlines just owns this place I think there's rows of them with the Turkish Airlines uh, logo on them as I have to say the uh, Istanbul Airport it's a phenomenal airport when I came in when I flew in to the airport to Istanbul just the um, area that I flew in where, you, where um, arrivals section is looked quite phenomenal and you know just looking at this airport it makes a mockery of that shambles that was uh, the JFK terminal that I was in it just seems as if you're in a different world this is this is space age this is that was more sort of a prehistoric Jurassic age and uh, just looking at this uh, airport it's it's phenomenal this is no ordinary airport in Istanbul this is what airports these days should be like in fact you know I'm surprised that uh, JFK has a terminal that bad but hey ho it's the way it goes I guess if you don't move on you get lost and uh, so check in H let's have a look so I've come to G which is also uh, Turkish Airlines H is over there so I'll check in make sure that I get my one suitcase checked in and I still think uh, I should have traveled uh, hand luggage only but uh, it is what it is and uh, so let's have a look at these check-in desks at Istanbul Airport code name IST there is also a Ataturk Airport in uh, Istanbul but uh, this one is the is the main one this is the main airport so let's do a self check-in actually let's do a self check-in let's see what the self check-ins like So I've managed to check in and uh, it's quite easy process really uh, there are a number of uh, desks that are open for departures to the UK and just in the international departures area over here and this is where the uh, security is and the immigration area isn't too bad so you get your they check your passports in the first section and then they uh, then you can walk through security but this is an impressive airport look at this it's phenomenal phenomenal airport first time that I've been to Istanbul Airport and it's uh, it's impressive it's one of the best ones yet I would say you know we say that um, Dubai, Singapore, these these airports are top of the range but Istanbul Airport also it is a, it is a phenomenal airport so I'm going to uh, I won't put my camera on when I'm in the uh, passport area because they can get a bit picky and uh, I'll clear security hopefully I've got nothing dodgy on me and uh, then I'll uh, come out on the other side I've just managed to clear security and the passport control and it's pretty quick to be honest it's pretty easy and uh, as soon as you clear the uh, passport control and security there's a bookshop here 
and lots of shops I think by the looks of it a Bulgari shop there Louis Vuitton Gucci Fendi stuff going on there Burberry all the labels Givenchy and many more so I've got to say this uh, airport already you know when I uh, arrived into the airport I said it then that this airport looks fantastic and looking around now it's yeah it is a it is a truly international standard airport I know that prior to this uh, most flights used to come into the Ataturk airport which is uh, actually closer to the city but this newly built international quality international standard airport has come into being and uh, it is uh, the structure actually I haven't seen anything like it I don't think any of the uh, airports I've been to look anything like this in fact if you dropped me here I wouldn't know where I was and uh, I mean I've got look at that Louis Vuitton store over there I mean uh, have you ever seen a Louis Vuitton store like this I dread to think what the prices are like inside because uh, just looking at the store I don't think I'd go in I'm not I haven't got a penchant for women's handbags actually so uh, I won't uh, delve into Louis Vuitton but there's also a dual shop there as well a Gucci Fendi Yves Saint Laurent YSL is that a Prada over there yes that's a Prada shop over there Kenzo so if you're into your shopping if you're into your fashions which I'm really not uh, there's plenty here at Istanbul Airport uh, the Bulgari store there so yeah I think maybe this is all the fashion there's a Montclair there as well uh, what else is there Emporio Armani is there so I think a lot of the clothing a lot of the fashion brands are here in this area of the airport and this is actually if you walked straight into the airport this would be on the left hand on the right hand side actually so as soon as you clear security and passport control this will be so there's passport control and security and just right there this would be the right hand side this is where all the fashion brands are so I'm gonna make my gear my escape from here from the fashion brands because uh, I don't want to max out my credit card in the uh, these fashion shops so let's head on down and see what else there is uh, in this uh, airport just looking upstairs there's a nice comfortable seating up there it's all happening at Istanbul Airport just noticed a uh, Carluccio's here named after probably still owned by the family actually the famous celebrity chef Carluccio I used to like him he's quite an entertaining guy they've also got a uh, Shake Shack there as well I might actually get a Shake Shack it's been a while since I visited a Shake Shack because I think the last one might have been uh, I think mate is either in New York or Philadelphia there's one place I went there one night I was feeling hungry late on and uh, couldn't be bothered to walk very far I went into a Shake Shack and uh, just noticed another place there was a place just over there they were doing baklava 35 lira for one piece and considering that you know I've been eating ones at around about 45 55 for four pieces uh, it's a bit extortionate mind you and uh, I'm actually trying to find uh, the food court see where it is they've got a food court 160 well there you go as soon as I mention the food court look what pops out food court 160 meters straight ahead there you go these people know they know that I'm on the prowl for food I'll have a look what's there actually because you know what since I saw that Shake Shack I want to go there just for the sake of going there because I haven't been to one for a while actually my son's always making fun of me because uh, I'm always going on about Shake Shack and he's saying it's just one of those chains what do you want to go there for but the fact of the matter is because I don't really visit them frequently anyway maybe once every few years the going to one is a bit of a novel experience yeah so here it is here's the uh, this is what I saw a few moments ago this was a uh, baklava 
35 lira a, pi a piece, which is on the extortionate side. I want to have a look at this, uh, this uh, food court. Oh, so they've got a Turkish delight, 1990 euros for four. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about this actually. So that's 20 euros, yeah, 1990 is close to 20. So they're um, trying to claim that it's, uh, it's, just, uh, it's a psychological thing to make it look under 20. So you say 20 euros. Now, you can buy the same sort of four boxes roughly. In fact, not four, you can buy six. Four roughly four pounds so they're taking the mick five times as much from uh, the airport so if you do want to waste your money waste it at the airport i guess but if you don't buy this sort of stuff in uh, in the city and even if you buy it from the tourist area you're still going to get it at a fraction of the cost here but if you venture out a bit further out venture out towards Basiktas or to the uh, Asian side and you'll pick these up for next to nothing and uh, it's a lot better it's a lot better on the wallet don't buy it from the airport that's where the fools go here is the food court what have they got here actually you know what it's a shake shack up there that's calling me as well but I'll have a look at what the food court has got to offer So we've got a place here selling uh, pide, which I've had a few times and there's even a vlog on this as well. The uh, boat shaped uh, pizza, the more sweet delicacies, Turkish coffee, I might have one of those before I leave. It's a nice seating area actually, they have got nice seating around this area, I've got a doner kebab place. I've had my fair share of donors as well, to be honest. Is this the staircase to the Shake Shack? I wonder if it is. I wonder if it's going to lead me all the way to the Shake Shack or something else. You know, I'm not really that particular. Let's have a look at what there is down here, actually. We're going upstairs. It is uh, quite well laid out. Um, airport to be honest uh, lots here lots to do lots to eat lots to drink and uh, I'd say it is a, uh, a good airport uh, if you are here so let's have a look what have they got so they've got sin this is a sincerely yogurt let's walk down the front actually what else have they got here? Let's have a look. This is where the uh, for the yogurt people hang out with the smoothies. Sincerely yogurt and the smoothies. So let's see what it's like over here on the other side. The Popeyes there, Subaru. Subway which is uh, the gang foods. There's a Carl's Juniors, blimey, I haven't seen a Carl's Juniors in ages. In fact, the last time I think I visited a Carl's Juniors was probably around the year 2000. And um, I was in a trip around California at that time. So I might actually visit uh, Carl's Juniors because uh, I haven't been there for ages. Shake Shacker, yeah. I visited uh, in America when I was there recently, but I went to Carl's Juniors for a little while. Take a trip down memory lane. Let's have a look at what they've got. Lots of burgers, lots of burgers. So they've got chicken, they've got a steakhouse, jalapeno, loads of things here, absolutely loads. This is a trip down memory lane. A burger and fries from Carl's Juniors, probably 22 years since I last had a Carl's Juniors. So, um, yeah, let's finish this one off and move on down the Istanbul airport and see what else they've got because um, I've spent hours here. There's so much uh, to see here, so many places to eat. 
and uh, let's see what this uh, Carl's Jr's is like before I make my way down. So it's been uh, 22 years since I last had a Carl's Jr's and uh, to be honest it's going to be another 22 years till I have another Carl's Jr's because that was freaking disgusting. That is some of the worst food that I've ever had. Uh, that burger, it rivals the worst burger. I was absolutely foul. So uh, Carl's Jr's, I won't be going there for a while. Uh, but it's the airport food, I guess. So I'm gonna have to, I've got a taste in my mouth. You know, it's that taste that you have some, something disgusting, something that's absolutely rank. I'm gonna have to, um, have something else some maybe some sweet baklava or something and uh, to kill this taste off but yeah I'm not gonna rate that Carl's Jr's very highly what is this yeah I've got a yo sushi place here maybe the yo sushi would have been better than Carl's Jr's but let's find a uh, place somewhere where I could have some uh, baklava so I'm in the food court beneath the uh, the Sabaros and the uh, Carl's Juniors and uh, come over to the Abaklava places. So let's have a look at what they've got. They've got the typical Baklava but then they've got a walnut pistachio palace wrap, walnut cube, more pistachio, sweet cake with nuts and syrup. I actually want to try this one. This this piece here. I've never I've never had this before. It seems. Can I get one of these? One, please. This seems a bit interesting. So I'll try what that is. I've never had that before. I did see it a few times in the city but um yeah i'll try it now that i'm at the airport kill the Carl's juniors taste i'm not sure how much it is um so uh it's just there in a small plate this will kill the taste of the Carl's juniors i guess because that taste does need killing just that thank you Sixty-three. Yes. Sixty. Let me see if I've got change. I haven't got change. Uh, that's uh, sixty-five. Okay. So I'm gonna try some of this. See what this is like. Need to kill that taste off. Thank you. Hello. So that will hopefully kill off the uh, Carl's Jr's taste. And I just need somewhere to sit down. And uh, this uh, dish here, I want to see what this is like. So uh, this is, these are the kind of things that you have to do to kill off the taste of bad food. But actually, I, I, I quite like this. This is different. I've not had anything like this in uh, Istanbul. And uh, let's have a look at uh, what this taste is like because um, it certainly looks very interesting. Mm. Very rich, very sugary, lots of nuts. And uh, I'm going to finish this off because this is the only thing it's going to get rid of that bad taste of that Carl's Jr's burger that I had. So I'm going to cane this and then uh, be on my way because I think my uh, gate's been announced. So I'm going to get through this and uh, make my way through the airport.
so just reached my gate uh, gate f5b for flight tk 1983 there are random security checks being done maybe if you can cap uh, can capture it on my uh, camera um, look, looking towards that way i don't want to point my camera in their direction but uh, i was uh, asked for a security check as well probably because uh, i do look dodgy either that or maybe it was because of that Carl's Jr. burger that I had earlier on that's giving suspicious signals to them but um, yeah it's standard security check they just went they just checked my uh, hand luggage out um, nothing major it took a couple of minutes if that and uh, I'm through to my gate and uh, it will be ready for boarding soon uh, flight TK 1983 taking off at uh, 6.35 local time and uh, hopefully gets to Heathrow around about I think uh, 8.25 or 8.35 um, in UK local time and uh, it's uh, you can probably see I'm trying to I don't want to point my camera blatantly in front of them but this security checks are being done uh, randomly on people as well uh, some people are asked to go to the right hand side to sit down those like me got told to go on the left left hand side go through the random security check and take you take your seats so now that that's done i'm ready to have a bit of a sleep actually i'm ready to snooze off in the flight uh, i don't think i'll uh, be needing anything to eat after that mess of a meal that i had but let's see what uh, turkish airlines end up giving i might just I might just ask for it anyway just to see what it's like but i'm not in any mood for eating because um, of that wreck that I had earlier.